How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to some more Apex Legends. Today, we are doing Revenant things, and why are we doing Revenant things? Well, I managed to save up enough crafting materials to finally buy a skin I very much wanted, and that was the werewolf skin from uh, the Halloween event. And I gotta feel bad for this Pathfinder, because, like you, I've been in that pl situation plenty of times where all we can do is just throw hands. So I know what I know what he's going through. Our teammate manages to get capped. We decide to swap out the prowler for the Spitfire. Pre-firing before we get around the corner to make sure that we cap them easily. Now for this whole match, we basically never leave Skyhook. I mean 60-70% of this match, like I said, we never almost never leave Skyhook. Maybe once, twice, we leave Skyhook. Hearing two teams firing on each other. Decide to, uh, take the long way around. Try to, you know, get behind one team. And try to go for a flanking maneuver. Using Revenant's, uh, passive to our advantage to crouch walk fast. We'll hear them, uh started coming towards us, so we decided to hold off on pushing forward. Hearing that team in front of us and the team behind us, you see the Lobo trying to queue away, but it's not working. Then we get jumped upon by another Loba, apparently. And followed suit by her friend Valkyrie. Quickly jumping away, our, uh, we basically switch out our teammate, but the Valkyrie manages to jet away. Then our teammate gets fired upon by a Seer, who apparently didn't decide to shield up before deciding to push out. He easily gets capped by our teammate. Then we start getting fired upon by the other team, and look who decided to try to make a return, it's the Valkyrie! Now instead of trying to chase up the stairs, we decide to climb to the second floor. Putting a few shots into her. Try to silence her and punch her, and we miss those, but we managed to connect with that bunch. Now, I decided to head up to the top of this building because I saw a purple death box up here, and I wanted to see if it might be a purple mag for our Spitfire. And nope, it was just a Phoenix kit. Grab some more shield sails and about to move on when I notice a team coming at me. So I decide to lay down the fire onto the octane. Notice the other one, which is a wraith, climb up to the rock. Have just very slow refixes to getting shot by our Spitfire. Remembering that the octane is right there, we didn't push up totally onto the wraith. But our uh, teammate manages to get an angle and easily cap the wraith. Getting the rare animation for popping Revenant's totem. And hearing the Wraith uh, finally self-reviving. Actually, Gold Bag self-reviving. Managed to, uh... We hear the Octane tank the zipline. And using Revenant's, uh... Passive to climb up the side of the building. We get a little confused by the audio. Thinking he's on our floor when actually we realize when then we realize no he's above us. We get capped by the octane. Now I'm surprised he didn't try to start immediately like capping us as soon as he downed us. Decided he decides to give chase but quickly pops some shield cells. As soon as we hear him jet away. We quickly start cranking our self res. Our teammate manages to draw his attention long enough. First to get back up, then we use him as a human meat shield. Managing to make it to the zip line and get to the top of the floor. Popping a couple of silences as some deterrence. Well, I've popped my Phoenix kit. Our teammate goes back into the building, and I take the outside to try to flank him. Noticing him right there, proceed to put the hurt on him. 
And now comes the part where we finally leave Skyhook just for a minute or two. Because we hear heavy fighting going on over here at staging. So we decide to uh, quickly get in on it. Now remember, being cautious, we're using as a uh, crouch walk to our advantage, we get ran upon by a Pathfinder. A cracked Pathfinder. Falling back to shield up, subbing in our teammates, popping down a silence, then silencing somebody. We fall in and quickly uh, loot up. Seeing a Rampart Special Spitfire, we decide to take that. Grabbing some more light ammo and a uh, gold light mag, we decide to uh, fall back, realizing there's no sight on this uh, Spitfire. Quickly falling back in here to grab one. Hear the enemies coming at us. We decide to run. We head up to uh, the sniper lookout over Bloodhound's Trials. Hold the high ground for a second. But as soon as I hear uh, one uh, team firing upon the other, decide to push into zone to see if we can see them. So when like I try to do this whenever I hear if I'm like part of the last two teams standing, I will try to get visual on them. But I'll wait until like the precise moment to try to engage. You know, it's just how I do it with my skill level in Apex. If I was like, you know, one of the good players, I'd have no problem like easily just running in and engaging because I'd be extremely confident in my abilities to do so. Hearing the team above us, or above us, I'm sorry, under us. Almost falling off the cliff, which would have been bad. It's a Crypto and a Watson. This Crypto... <laughs> feel bad for that Watson. The Crypto shut the door right on his face. On the Watson's face. Putting the Spitfire's hip fire to work. We see the Crypto trying to make a break for it. Giving... Trying to give chase. And pop the cap in him. We get sniped by the other team and sent back to our totem. Now, if you're ever in this situation and you see uh, both teams fighting, I would recommend actually holding your fire and let them just try to take each other out. It's at least the way I would. It's at least the way I would play it. You know, once uh. You know, it's like, oh, we're the last team. It's like, as soon as it says I'm the last team, engage. Seeing them come up in the window. And getting our little toesies shot. Pop a shield bat. Remembering that we still got the crypto over here. Now, I don't know that the other team is a solo as well. So, it's basically... Me and my teammate against two solos now. The Crypto and the other one. We see the Crypto right here in the corner. Proceed to cap. Now, not realizing that it's a Crypto has a self-revive. So, like I said, not realizing he had a self-revive, thinking it's us versus the last team. Putting in some, trying to put the Spitfire back to some more work, and I just end up painting the cliff behind her. Trying to use our silence to get, uh, just a hell mere yeet. Try to use Revenant's, uh, passive to climb up this cliff, and we just start sliding off. Like the big doofus. Now our teammate has already run around ahead of us, and he gets the cap on him. Here, that was the last. Last squad, I realize. Oh, and the crypto has done self revived. And we hear him right here in the little trader looting uh, up on his teammates. We decide to put the hip fire on the Spitfire to work. And easily catching the win. Managing to secure good game, I decide to celebrate by painting the trailer. So thank y'all for joining me. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Goodbye.